Good morning. This is uh, 7.1 continued. 7.1 continued. Uh, so it's part B, I guess we're going to call it. Uh, more applications. So uh, here we go. So in your packet, uh, continue where I left off right here. And I'll continue with uh, working these out. Uh, just a reminder, we are uh, making sure that you have uh, mu sub x bar and sigma sub x bar. Mu sub x bar is mu, which serum, the mean, right there, the mean serum mean means mu. Oh, uh, overweight adults is 220 milligrams per deciliter. So equals uh, 220 and then units of measurement would be milligrams per deciliter. Um, so standard deviation, which you speak this as sigma sub X bar, uh, definition word wise would be population standard deviation of the sample means. And it's found by taking sigma divided by square root of n. And for us, uh, let's see, standard deviation of the 220, uh, excuse me, standard deviation, uh, that was given to us for the population is 16.3 divided by square root of uh, 30. And sigma, squiggle, squiggle, uh, get my calculator out. So I'm calculating this, that would be uh, divided by <coughs> Square root of 30, uh, two decimal places, 2.98, 2.98. Now, we have to uh, figure out if we can even use the normal moving forward. And remember the case one, two, and three? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Case one says, if it says normal, you can do it. Does it say normal? I'm looking for the word normal. It does not, so it's not a case one. Case two, uh, is the sample size greater than or equal to 30? And it is, so we say it's approximately normal and we can move forward. So yes, this is a case two. I'll just say case two. So then I can draw a uh, bell-shaped curve, create my uh, markers. So this one here would be 220. Okay, first marker. We're gonna take 220 and add our uh, standard deviation right here. So that looks like it's 222.98, X marker. We take this value and add another 2.98. So I use my calculator. Uh, 22.98. And then I'm going to add another 2.98. So 225.96. 225.96. Extend that out a little bit. Remember, this doesn't close right here. It goes on forever. We call it a continuous. Normal is continuous distribution. And the last marker may be right about here. Add another 2.98 to this. So add another 2.98. Uh, 228.94. Yeah, going the other direction, we're going to subtract 2.98. So from the original 220. Uh, 217.02. Subtract another 2.98. 
214.04. And finally, one last one. Two eleven zero six. Two eleven zero six. Next, we're going to set up our probability statement, which here it is: find the probability that it lies between those two values. Probability that. Remember, we're going to use x bar now, not x, because we're talking about sample means. Uh, between. Okay, smaller is two twenty. Bigger is two twenty two. And that's milliliters per um, um, milligrams per deciliter. So now um, we're going to end up looking at this as a dotted line, not a solid. So dot, 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 like this in uh, 222. So that's right, right about there. Because this is 222.98. So this is 222 on the left hand side. Shade, 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 shade. And to find that answer, we would do normal CDF uh, left uh, 220, right, uh, right here. This is right. So this is your left, and this is your right. So 222, comma, uh, mu sub x bar. There it is, mu sub x bar. Oops, uh, mu sub x bar is right here. So that would be 220. And sigma sub x bar is this one right here. And now we'll do it with the calculator. That's how we'll do it. We're not gonna do it with the tables. Yep, normal CDF, 220, 22. 20 and then finally 298 a lot of students will look at this and say they want sigma that's the, totally makes sense but you can't put just uh you can't put 16.3 in there no 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 you want to remember uh that is asking for really sigma sub x bar sigma sub x bar so i'm going to go uh 2.98 2.98 hopefully you get that part paste it Enter, here's your probability. So squiggle, squiggle, box your answer. Sorry, the red's in the way. <clears throat> Get that out of the box. So my answer now is uh, four decimal places. So about 24, 25%. That's the probability. Now, this takes some time uh, to set up and write all the markers down. Uh, each one of these would require that. Of course, you know that. Um, but for sake of, I'll call it time, I'm not going to write out all the markers. Um, for you, you should practice writing out all the markers because uh, that's what I had expected um, in class. I don't know yet how that's going to be asked on your uh, future exams. So just assume that I want to see all that picture wise or you can read all that and where they came from. 220. And then you got one, two, three markers, one, two, three markers. Uh, if I set up the probability uh, statement right here, uh, here's another between. So we go probability that it's between uh, 217 uh, less than x less than, oh, x bar, my mistake, uh, 222, squiggle, squiggle. Now, um, 217, back up to here, 217, that would actually be on the slight little less of the first marker. So I'm gonna like this. This right here is about 217. 
Is it going to go dot, 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 uh, 222. Okay, right about there again. Dot, 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 dot. Shade, 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 shade. Use your calculator again. Right here, it's the same thing, except these two numbers are changed. These are the same, but these two numbers are changed to be reflecting negative uh, 217 to 222. That's your left, that's your right. So, second distribution. So this is 217, uh, that's still 222, everything remains the same. Enter, okay, there's my answer, that's your probability, so more than 50%, 0.5919, 0.5919. Okay, similar. Uh, all I'm going to do is just drop my picture, put my markers here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Knowing my markers are identical to these guys down below, that's the position of those and the values. Statement right here, I see less, so probability that X bar is less, that's no equal sign, of 217. Squiggle, squiggle. Uh, okay, 217 again is uh, right about there. Dot, 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 dot. Shade, 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 shade. Second distribution, normal CDF. Now, what do you think my lower would be? I mean, how far to the left is this going? Negative infinity. So go negative big. No, not big enough. Maybe not. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, how about another zero? <laughs> okay, well then, uh, oh, and this one has to be changed to the 217. And these remain the same. And here's my probability, 0 0.1570. 0 0.1570. And then finally, base bell shaped curve. Um, less than two twenty four. Milligrams per deciliter. Squiggle, squiggle. Okay, now, 224. I'm looking back to see where 224 would sit. 224. Okay, somewhere in between here. So 224 is somewhere in between here. See, 222, 225. Okay, probably a little closer here, just ish. Dot, 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 dot. Shade, 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 shade. shade. That looks like more than 50%. find the normal CDF or what I did is just second enter right here and it brought up the original and I can just type in something about uh, this is 224 but just if you don't know what I just did don't worry about it go second distribution find the normal CDF and type in your values uh, 0.9102 Okay, that takes care of that particular page. Moving on, a few more applications. Uh, this next one is another word problem. And again, I'm just looking for to see what uh, my mu is equal to, mu sub x bar, my mistake. And there it is. Amount of snowfall following certain mountain ranges normally, oh, right there, normally distributed. See that? 
So this is a case one, because it says it, normal. <clears throat> so this is 105 inches. All right, sigma sub x bar is that formula, sigma divided by square root of n. Okay, so this right here is sigma. So I'm gonna go 16 divided by square root, and here's my n. So they want to know what the probability that the mean annual snowfall during 64 randomly picked years, not a randomly picked year, like one. This is 64, groupings of 64 at a time. So I'll put 64, which is 16 divided by, well, this is convenient, 8, which is 2. That's nice. That was nice of me. <laughs> um, Bell-shaped curve, because this one's an easy one to put the markers down. That's 105, and you're adding two. This is what I'm adding to, adding two. So 107, 109, 111, subtract two, subtract two, subtract two. And set up the probability distribution which I'm looking here exceeds, that's greater than, greater than. The word exceeds means greater than. So we're gonna go probability that the average rainfall exceeds 107.8 inches, squiggle, squiggle. Find 107.8 in here, nope, right about here-ish. Exceeds, that's greater than. I think you see a theme right here. Draw the picture, put the markers, come up with a statement. This is important to do that because when I go second normal distribution, uh, I'm going to have to have that sigma to be reflecting sigma sub x bar. I have to have that rather than. Uh, rather than the 16 that was given. I have to have this one here. So here we go. Uh, what's my lower in red right here? 107.8. Uh, okay, now my, um, to the right, a ridiculous, because it goes on forever, ridiculous, maybe 10,000. Uh, mu is up here. Okay, now that sigma that it's asking for is not 16, it is two. Uh, 0 0 0.080, oh, rounding. See that five right there? Gotta make that an eight now, so 0 0.0808. 0 Okay, next problem. Assume women heights are normally, oh, it says normal again. So this is a case one, because it says normal. We can do it. Okay, there's your mean. So mu sub x bar is equal to 63.6. Okay, this standard deviation right here is sigma equals 2.5, but we want, mu sub x bar, which is still uh, my mistake here. This is mu that's given. We want mu sub x bar, which is mu. So 63.6, but we want sigma sub x bar, which is sigma divided by square root of n, 2.5 divided by, let's see, um, 90. So n is equal to 90, nice sample size, bigger than 30. Good, that's the bigger the better. Squiggle, squiggle, take my calculator. Uh, 2.5 divided by, and it is the square root of 90. So uh, two decimal places for um, sigmas, 
uh, four decimal places for probability. So I want two decimal places, 0.26. Now, if I drew my picture like this, just to get a visual representation of what's going on, 63.6, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna add 0.26. Add 0.26 to um, 63.6. Okay, 63.86. Add another 0.26. 64.12. Add another one. 64.38. So what's my hope, right? Okay, here's the in-between. So I want the probability that it's you know, is it 64. Okay, I can find 64 on the right-hand side, right? In between here. So I'll say right about there. 62.6. I have to go farther to the left. All right, so that means I'm going to subtract 0.26 from the mean. Uh, 63.34. I got to get to um, 62.9. So subtract 0.26. Okay, I think we're uh, we're good. Of course, we only need to go out to three anyway. Uh, 62.82. Yeah. So I'm looking at 62.9, uh, 62, like right right about there, almost to the end. So shade shade in between. So we go back to calculate the answer. We're going to go to normal CDF. Now, my lower is in red. That's my lower. Uh, this is my upper. Mu sub, uh, well, remember this is mu sub x bar. So, okay, mu sub, okay, right here. I know it says mu, but mu sub x bar and mu are the same thing. So I'm gonna make that 63.6. Now, sigma, okay, sorry. Uh, sigma right there, not that for us. It's going to be that for us. So that's what I'm gonna put in 0.26. Paste, enter, four decimal places. Well, yeah, I look at, I'm almost shaded the entire amount. That's why this is so big, 0 0.9345, 0 0.9345. Okay. And let's see if that's the last one for us. Yeah, that's the last one for... Uh, coming up here, um, this one here, for 7.1. And uh, then another video will show you 7.2. So for this last one, I need again find what my mu sub so x bar is. Uh, there's my mean temperature here, 98.2. So human body temperatures are normally distributed. This is a case one, because it says normal. It uh, doesn't matter about the sample size, which in terms, um, hmm, does it say a sample size here? Yeah, this one here, you can't do. Uh, there's a reason behind this, can't do 
So don't, don't do it. You can't do it. Because I haven't taught you a technique to find the, in this case, it says, it doesn't say find the probability, it says find the temperature. I haven't taught you that, and I don't intend to at this stage. So we're done. Yay. <laughs> we're done. So uh, that's it. That wraps up uh, 7.1 for you. Okay. See you in the next video.